Hey guys, it's Catherine, and if you follow me on Instagram and you're looking at your screen right now, I'm sure you already know what this video is about. But for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram or have no idea what I'm talking about, this video is all about the Quirky Writer S keyboard. Um, I purchased this maybe two weeks ago, and I've used it almost every day since. I've posted a few pictures of it on my Instagram, and with every picture, I get all kinds of comments asking me where I got this keyboard. Um, I've gotten several messages asking me about the keyboard, and I've gotten a few requests to do a video on the keyboard. So, that is what I'm doing today. I'm obsessed with this keyboard, y'all. It is so beautiful, and it's also just so functional. And I'm constantly trying to think of things to type so I can use it every day because I just love it. So before I get started, I just want to say that I'm not affiliated with this company whatsoever. Um, I purchased this on my own. This is not a sponsored video. I just really, really love this product. Um, and I'm going to post a link in the video description down below if you're interested in purchasing this product. But I'm not affiliated with this company. Um, I'm just a huge fan. So, this is what the keyboard looks like. This is the Quirky Writer S color. So, this model that I have right here, I purchased the pink, but it also comes in mint or white. They also have a model just called the Quirky Writer S that is just black. But other than the color, um, you know, they're, they're identical, like the way that the keys are laid out, the way that the keys look. I believe all of the color editions have white keys, and I believe the black has black keys. They're Bluetooth keyboards, so they will work with any device that supports Bluetooth. That means that you can not only use it with your iPad, if you're not an iPad user, but you've got another tablet that supports Bluetooth, you can use it with that, you can use it with your computer, you can use it with your laptop, um, you can use it with any device, you could even use it with your phone. So, it's just multi-functional, supports so many different devices. My favorite thing about it, other than the look, is just the sound that the keys make. It sounds like a real typewriter, and I love that about it. Um, I am a huge fan of typewriters. I remember being like a kid, and uh, my dad had a typewriter at work, and I would always uh, play office over there and pretend to type documents on the typewriter. So I just love that they make keyboards like this now, because in addition to this, I actually have this keyboard for my iMac, um, and it looks like a typewriter as well. I'm just a huge fan of this style. I'm sorry about how dusty this keyboard is. Um, my office is in my basement. It's pretty dusty. Um, I'll link to that keyboard in the video description as well. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to go over this a little bit and show you how it works um, because these are expensive Bluetooth keyboards. I paid $299 for this, and I also purchased a case, which I'm not going to show in this video. The case was $99. Um, and the case is like any type of case you would see with a typewriter. You know, they're kind of like suitcases. I can do a separate video on that later if you guys want to see that. Uh, just leave a comment and let me know. But like I was saying, I paid $299 for this. The Quirky Writer S that's available in black is on sale right now for $249.99. I don't know how long that sale is going to last, but today is February 6th, and right now it is on sale for $249.99. So, I'm just going to kind of show you how my iPad fits on this keyboard and how you can use this keyboard. So, this is the iPad Pro 3rd generation 12.9 inch that I'm bringing in. But the way this keyboard is set up, you'll see right here there's a slit. Um, and you can fit so many different types of tablets within this slip because there's not an edge to it, so you're not really limited. And they also give a good amount of space right here, so unless your tablet, for whatever reason, is extremely bulky, um, maybe if you have an OtterBox on it, I'm not sure if that would fit there, but I don't have a case on my iPad, and it fits fine. I know if I had a folio case on it, it would fit fine as well because it gives you probably about... I don't know if that's a whole inch, but you know, it's, it's a good amount of space. So the iPad fits great in both portrait mode, which I know this is cut off a little bit. Um, let me adjust the camera really quick. So you'll see it fits in portrait mode and then I can flip it this way and it also fits in landscape mode. I prefer to use it in landscape mode whenever possible. I do have a few digital portrait style journals. Um, so I use it in portrait mode for those, but I do prefer to use it in landscape mode because I feel more like I'm using a laptop. It has a great fit. So like I was saying, this is the iPad Pro third generation 12.9 inch 
Um, but I do have my older iPad right here. This is the second generation iPad Pro. And I do have a case on this model. Um, it is just kind of a protective case. This is a Tech 21 case. Um, and it will also fit very nicely with the case on this keyboard. So that is landscape mode. And this is portrait mode. And I'm so sorry about my camera not capturing the whole thing, but there you go. So now I'm gonna show you how it works. Let me get my iPad set up on here. And when you first get this keyboard, you're gonna wanna pair it um, with your Bluetooth on your iPad. They give you an instruction booklet like this that will tell you how you can pair this to your device. And I'll actually show you on the back. Um, they show you how to do it on iOS, on Mac OS, on Android, and on PC. So they've got you covered for several different operating systems. So um, that was the first thing that I did, obviously, when I got this keyboard. The power button on this keyboard is on the right. Um, I'm trying to get it in the camera. It's right here. And to turn it on, um, you know, you just flip this back towards the back. I'm sorry about my hands. <laughs> uh, and now you'll see there's a green light blinking right there. So I'm going to pull up good notes on my iPad. And even though these are portrait style journals, I'm still going to use this in landscape mode. And let me just go to a blank page in my journal. I'll just go to this page right here. So to type, it's just like using a regular keyboard. Um, on GoodNotes, you would have to go to your text panel. Um, you could go here to set the style that you wanna type in. I am gonna use a font called Mystery Typewriter. I love this font. Uh, I purchased it on Creative Market. I'll link to it in the video description. Um, and let me make the font size pretty big. So now I'm just gonna type here. So it's just super fun. The other cool features about this keyboard is that these little controls are actually functional. Um, so they're not just there for looks. So this by default is an inner key. So whenever you want to go down to the next line, you can hit enter, you know, like you would on a standard keyboard, or you can just press this and it'll take you to the next line. That feature can also be programmed to type up to 16 characters by default. So they give instructions on how you can do that in this booklet. I'm not gonna do that in this video because I would never use it. Um, the only thing I type regularly is Naptime Alternative, but that's more than 16 characters. So I couldn't make that work for this. But you know, if there's something that you type on a regular basis, that's 16 characters or less, you can program that. And anytime you touch this, it will type those words for you. So the other controls on this keyboard are these knobs right here. So this knob controls your volume. This right knob over here is supposed to scroll vertically, but vertical scrolling is not supported on iOS. It says that in the instruction booklet, so it's not really gonna do anything, but I mean, if you're using an iPad, you're probably more comfortable with using your finger anyway. So that was not a deal breaker for me or anything like that. I don't think I could ever get used to doing this over here to scroll. So just a couple of facts about this keyboard. The function keys all serve a purpose. It goes over every single one of them in the instruction booklet. Um, you can decrease volume, increase volume. Um, if you're listening to music, you can go to a previous track, next track, play and pause. Um, you can even navigate home by selecting the function key and then F12, and that'll take you home. You can set a battery sleep timer on this keyboard. Um, you can decrease brightness, increase brightness. Um, there's a lot of different functions that you can do completely from the keyboard. So the charger, it's got a USB charger and it recommends charging it directly to a computer USB or a sufficiently powered USB hub. This is what the charger looks like. I'm not techie y'all. This is just, I think a USB A and this is definitely not USB C. No idea um, what this is. <laughs> Please leave a comment if you know. I know it's not USB C though because that is what they use for the iPad Pro third generation and for my MacBook Pro. Um, and that does not fit this 
charger, so I have no idea. But this is the charger. You charge it for two to three hours and your charge should last for two to three weeks of normal use. So that is pretty awesome. Um, when I got this keyboard, it came fully charged. Like I said, I've had it for two weeks and I have not had to charge this keyboard yet. So that is pretty cool. And I mean, that's really it. That's all I know to say about it. Um, I can just tell you that I love it so, so much. This is all my personal opinion on it. I, you know, had a little money saved up, so this was 100% worth it to me. I'm the type of person that would rather spend money on, like, a tech accessory, even though I'm not techie, like I just said, but, you know, I'd rather spend money on, like, an iPad or an Apple Pencil or a keyboard like this rather than buy, like, jewelry or makeup and stuff like that um because that's just how i personally prefer to spend my money um if you're not like that then that is totally fine as well it's just you know whenever you have a little extra money i just feel like you should treat yourself to whatever makes you happy and this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy so i do think that you know if this is your style and you want to treat yourself and you got a little bit of money um i do think that this is an awesome product. I have no regrets whatsoever. Usually I feel a little sick to my stomach when I spend this much money on something, but I did not feel an ounce of remorse when I purchased this. It is just so cute. I like that I can use it with my computer if I ever choose to use it with my computer. I could even use it with my laptop if I wanted to, and I actually would do that, but I have a 13-inch MacBook Pro, and my eyes are not very great. I actually really need to go get my eyes checked again. So I wouldn't be able to see the screen because the computer would be sitting too far away from me. I would be squinting like crazy, um, which I do anyway, but it would just be worse. So I haven't used it with my laptop, but I just like that I could use it with any device that supports Bluetooth. So if I ever decide to get an Android device so I can start doing tutorials on that or something, this is something that I could use for that. It's just really, really cute. And I am, this is just all personal stuff. I'm just rambling now. I'm in the process of trying to get an office together. This has been a process for over a year now. Um, and it's still just a huge mess. I need so much help with like my kids and organization and stuff like that. Like I'm just in over my head, but eventually I'm going to have a super cute office and this will just be really, really cute in my office, but I can also take it with me when I travel. So, um, when I go to the beach next month, with my family and I just like to journal every day and write stuff down every day. So I'm planning on taking this with me in the little suitcase that I got with it. So I am just super, super excited about it. I love it so, so much. So those are my thoughts on it. I just wanted to do this because I did get a lot of requests for a video about this keyboard just because it's such an awesome keyboard. So like I said, I will link to their website in the video description down below. And I will also link to that other keyboard that I showed you guys. Um, I didn't go into detail on it, but that is my computer keyboard. It's not wireless. It's not Bluetooth, but it's amazing as well. Um, and I will also link to that mystery typewriter font that I used here. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for digital planning tutorials, digital plan with me videos, um, and then occasionally I review products like this that somewhat relate to digital planning. Also, make sure you check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's tons of planner-related freebies that you can download now.